In the dense, mist-shrouded forests of the Pacific Northwest, there lies a forgotten town named Hollow Creek, once a bustling mining community in the late 1800s. It now stands desolate, its dilapidated structures reclaimed by nature. Rumors whisper of eerie occurrences and unexplained disappearances, casting a shadow over the town's already dark history. The story begins with Alex, a curious and intrepid journalist known for uncovering the most cryptic tales. Intrigued by the legends surrounding Hollow Creek, Alex embarks on a journey to unearth the truth. Armed with nothing but a camera, a notebook, and an insatiable thirst for the unknown. Upon arrival, the remnants of the town loom like specters through the fog. An eerie silence pervading the air, Alex's steps echo on the wooden planks of abandoned homes. Each creek, a haunting reminder of life long extinguished. It's in the heart of the town, beside the decrepit town hall, that Alex discovers an old, rusted cassette recorder. Its contents a key to the enigma of Hollow Creek. The tape, labeled The Confessions of Hollow Creek, contains the fragmented, frantic testimonies of former residents, the voices heavy with despair and fear, speak of shadows that whispered secrets in the dead of night, of figures cloaked in mist that roamed the streets, and of an insidious presence that lurked beneath the town in the long abandoned mines. Driven by an unrelenting desire to uncover the truth, Alex ventures into the labyrinthine tunnels of the mine, the air growing colder, the darkness almost tangible. The further Alex delves, the more the line between reality and nightmare blurs. Whispers fill the air, echoing off the walls, yet their source remains unseen. Shadows dance in the periphery, always just out of sight and an inexplicable feeling of being watched, followed, haunts every step. In the deepest recesses of the mine, Alex finds an ancient chamber, its walls etched with symbols that seem to pulse with a malevolent energy. In the center lies an altar, atop which rests a book bound in tattered leather, its pages filled with arcane rites and dark prophecies. As Alex pours over the cryptic text, the whispers crescendo into a cacophony, the shadows converging. In a moment of terror, the reality of Hollow Creek's curse becomes chillingly clear. The town and the malevolent force that dwells within refuses to be forgotten. Its story demanding to be told yet never concluded. With heart pounding, Alex realizes the only escape is to leave the mysteries of Hollow Creek unsolved, the horrors undocumented. The story, like the town, must remain shrouded in mystery, its true nature hidden in the echoes of the past. As Alex flees the encroaching darkness, the tape recorder in hand the final entry remains unrecorded, the story unfinished. Hollow Creek's secrets are left to linger in the shadows, a chilling reminder that some truths are better left unearthed. The tale ends as Alex emerges from the forest, the town of Hollow Creek fading into the mist once more, its stories untold, its horrors unending, and somewhere in the silence, the whispers of Hollow Creek continue, waiting for the next soul brave enough, or foolish enough, to listen. Emerging from the dense thicket, Alex's breaths come in ragged gasps, the 
haunting chill of Hollow Creek's shadows still clinging to their skin. The town, now a mere silhouette against the setting sun, seems to watch silently as Alex retreats, its secrets enshrouded once more in the gathering dusk. Driven by a mix of fear and an insatiable need for answers, Alex reviews the recordings made within the town's ominous embrace. Each playback is filled with the unsettling echoes of Hollow Creek. The whispered voices now intermingled with an unidentifiable static, as if the town itself was attempting to communicate through the white noise. Compelled by the story that refuses to be left untold, Alex decides to share the recordings online, hoping to draw out others who have experienced the enigmatic horrors of Hollow Creek. The response is overwhelming. Yet among the countless tales of fleeting shadows and whispered dread, one message stands out. An invitation from an anonymous sender who claims to hold the key to Hollow Creek's darkest secrets. The message leads Alex to an old, secluded library in a neighboring town. Its archives, a repository for the region's forgotten history. Here, in the musty, dimly lit aisles, lies a collection of personal journals and newspaper clippings that chronicle Hollow Creek's descent from a thriving community into a ghost town shrouded in mystery. One journal, in particular, captures Alex's attention, a leather-bound volume belonging to the town's last known priest, Father Thomas. The pages are filled with frantic entries that speak of a malevolent force awakened from the depths of the earth, a darkness that consumed the souls of the townsfolk driving them to madness and despair. Father Thomas's writings hint at an ancient ritual, one that could either banish the darkness or unleash it further, the details of which were lost with the priest's mysterious disappearance. The last entry, dated shortly before the town was abandoned, speaks of a hidden chamber beneath the church the final piece of the puzzle lies. With nightfall casting long shadows, Alex heads to the ruins of the church, the moonlight casting an eerie glow on the forsaken sanctuary. The air grows colder as they descend into the bowels of the church, where the hidden chamber awaits, sealed by a door adorned with the same cryptic symbols found in the mines. Inside, the chamber is untouched by time. An altar at its center, holding an array of strange artifacts and a map of the town, with specific locations marked in blood. As Alex examines the artifacts, a chilling realization dawns. The ritual was not meant to banish the darkness, but to commune with it bargain with the shadows that hunger for the light. The sound of footsteps echoes in the chamber, and Alex turns to find the entrance sealed, the flicker of candlelight casting long, twisting shadows across the walls. The whispers return, a chorus of voices that seem to emanate from the very stones, speaking in a language not meant for human ears. The story hangs in the balance. The fate of Alex and the secrets of Hollow Creek ensnared in the shadows that stretch forth from the depths of the chamber. The darkness grows, a tangible force that seeks to engulf not just Hollow Creek, but all who dare to uncover its truths. And so the tale remains, a thread suspended in the darkness, its end lost to the whispers of Hollow Creek, waiting for the next chapter to be written.
in the echoes of the unseen, in the suffocating darkness of the chamber, with the entrance mysteriously sealed, Alex's heart pounds against their chest, the whispers growing louder, more insistent. The artifacts on the altar seem to pulse with a sinister energy, the map's bloodied markers glaring ominously in the candlelight. As the shadows dance with a life of their own, Alex notices a series of inscriptions circling the chamber's floor, their patterns mirroring the symbols on the door and the artifacts. A realization dawns. These symbols hold the key to the ritual, a possible way to communicate with or perhaps control the encroaching darkness. With the whispers now a deafening roar in their mind, Alex begins to trace the symbols, attempting to replicate the ritual as outlined Father Thomas's journal, each symbol ignites with a ghostly luminescence as it's traced, the chamber's atmosphere thickening with an electric charge. Suddenly, the chamber shakes violently, the ground beneath Alex's feet cracking open to reveal an abyssal void from which an unbearable cold emanates. The artifacts on the altar shatter releasing a blinding light that momentarily pushes back the encroaching shadows. In this fleeting moment of clarity, Alex glimpses the true horror of Hollow Creek, a nexus of ancient malevolent energies, a breach between worlds that was unwittingly opened and never properly sealed. The town, its people, and now Alex, were all caught in a perpetual cycle of darkness, pawns in a game that spanned centuries. The light fades as quickly as it appeared, the shadows rushing back with renewed fervor, clawing at the edges of the void. Alex stands on the precipice, caught between the abyss and the encroaching dark, the whispers now forming coherent pleas and warnings from the souls lost to Hollow Creek's curse. As the chamber continues to crumble, Alex makes a desperate decision to leap into the void. Armed only with the remnants of the shattered artifacts, and the hope that this act might break the cycle, might offer a chance to fight back against the darkness. 
plunging into the cold, Alex is enveloped by an all-consuming darkness. The sensation of falling both terrifying and endless. The whispers grow distant, replaced by an eerie silence that seems to stretch into infinity. And then, just as suddenly as it began, the sensation of descent halts, leaving Alex adrift in a void where time and space lose all meaning. Here, in this liminal space, the story of Hollow Creek hangs suspended, its secrets veiled in darkness, its conclusion yet to be written. The fate of Alex and the truth behind the ancient energies of Hollow Creek remain shrouded in mystery. The narrative poised on the brink of revelation, yet tantalizingly out of reach, waiting for the next voice brave enough to delve into the darkness and continue the tale. Adrift in the boundless void, Alex feels the very fabric of reality warp around them. Time, as understood in the mortal realm, unravels, leaving behind a canvas of endless possibilities, each more unsettling than the last. The remnants of the shattered artifacts now fused with Alex's being, emit a faint, pulsing light, the only beacon in the overwhelming darkness. In this realm beyond realms, whispers manifest not as sounds, but as echoes of memories, visions of Hollow Creek's past, present, and countless might have been. Alex witnesses the town in its many incarnations, each shadowed by the same insidious darkness, each cycle ending in despair. Amidst these visions, a constant emerges, a figure cloaked in shadow, its presence a nexus of the malevolent energies that plague Hollow Creek. This entity, neither fully of the void nor the living world, seems to be the architect of the town's suffering its motivations as enigmatic as the void itself. As Alex reaches out to this figure, seeking answers, or perhaps confrontation, the void shifts, reacting to the presence of the artifact's energy. A pathway emerges, a corridor lined with the echoes of those who've been ensnared by the town's curse. Their voices a guide or a warning it's impossible to tell. Compelled by a force beyond their understanding, Alex follows the pathway, each step revealing fragments of the entity's origins. A ritual gone awry, a pact with forces beyond comprehension, a town's desperate bid for prosperity that invited a darkness it could not control. The corridor leads to a threshold, beyond which lies a version of Hollow Creek unlike any seen before. This town vibrates with energy, its inhabitants moving like puppets, their strings pulled by the shadowy figure that now stands before Alex, its form clearer, more defined, yet still obscured by the darkness it wields. The entity speaks, its voice of every whisper heard before, revealing its purpose not as destruction, but as a guardian of the balance between worlds, a balance disrupted by Hollow Creek's incessant meddling with forces beyond its ken. The town cycle of horror is not a curse, but a consequence, a lesson unlearned. As the entity's revelations unfold, the boundary between Alex and the void begins to blur. The journalist's very essence intertwining with the fabric of Hollow Creek's story. The realization dawns that escape might not be an option, that their role might not be to uncover the truth, but to become a part of it. 
sentinel of the threshold between light and dark. With this epiphany, the corridor dissolves, and Alex finds themselves standing at the edge of Hollow Creek once more, the town silent as if holding its breath, awaiting the next chapter. The shadowy entity's final words echo in Alex's mind, a cryptic clue, or perhaps a warning. The cycle continues, but the path you choose will carve its course. The story pauses here, on the precipice of choices yet to be made, paths yet to be taken. Hollow Creek remains, a tableau of secrets and shadows, its tale interwoven with the fate of one who dared to pierce its veil, now a part of its endless cycle, a guardian of its mysteries, the conclusion forever hanging in the balance, awaiting the next turn of the page, standing on the precipice of Hollow Creek, the boundary between worlds. Alex grapples with the newfound knowledge that their fate is irrevocably intertwined town's enigmatic cycle, the realization that they are now a guardian, a sentinel between the light and dark, weighs heavily on their shoulders. As the first light of dawn creeps over the horizon, casting long shadows across the abandoned town, Alex senses a subtle shift in the atmosphere, the oppressive dread that once permeated Hollow Creek seems to recede, replaced by a palpable tension, as if the town itself is holding its breath, waiting for the next chapter in its storied history to unfold. Compelled by an unseen force, Alex is drawn to the heart of the town, to the decrepit town hall where their journey first began. Inside, the air is thick with dust and silence remnants of the town's past scattered like forgotten memories. But there, in the center of the main hall, lies a new anomaly, an intricately carved stone pedestal that was not there before, its surface adorned with the same cryptic symbols that have become hauntingly familiar. Atop the pedestal rests a crystal orb pulsating with a soft inner light. As Alex approaches, the orb illuminates, revealing swirling visions within its depths, images of Hollow Creek's past, present, and potential futures flicker before Alex's eyes, each vision a thread in the complex tapestry of the town's fate. Among the visions, one stands out a glimpse of the town, free from the shadowy entity's influence. Its people thriving in harmony with the forces that once threatened to consume them. This vision offers a glimmer of hope, a potential future where the cycle of darkness is broken. But it is shrouded in uncertainty, the path to its realization obscured by the choices yet to be made. As Alex reaches out to touch the orb, a surge of energy courses through them, a connection forming between guardian and town, a silent vow to seek out the path that might lead to Hollow Creek's salvation. But this connection also brings a warning, a sense of impending change, a storm on the horizon that threatens to engulf the town and its guardian in its fury. The story pauses here, with Alex standing at the crossroads of destiny. The future of Hollow Creek balanced precariously on the edge of a knife. The visions in the orb hint at what might be, but the path to achieving it is shrouded in mystery, its outcome uncertain. As the light of dawn fills the town hall, Casting the crystal orb in a radiant glow, the next chapter of Hollow Creek's story remains unwritten, its secrets veiled in the morning mist, 
the tail continues to hang in the balance. Its conclusion, a whisper in the wind, waiting for the moment when choices converge and destinies unfold. As Alex stands before the crystal orb, feeling the weight of destiny pressing upon them, a sense of urgency grips their heart. The visions within the orb, though tantalizing, offer no clear path forward, leaving Alex to navigate the treacherous waters of Hollow Creek's fate with nothing but instinct and determination, leaving the town hall behind Alex ventures out into the streets of Hollow Creek once more, their senses heightened to the subtle shifts in the town's aura. The morning mist clings to their skin like a shroud, obscuring the boundaries between reality and nightmare, between past and present. As they wander the desolate streets, Alex is drawn to the ruins of the church its crumbling facade, a testament to the town's tumultuous history, within its hollowed halls. Echoes of prayers long forgotten mingle with the whispers of the shadows, a haunting symphony that speaks of both despair and redemption. In the depths of the church, beneath the shattered altar, where the shadowy entity once held sway, Alex discovers a hidden chamber, a sanctuary untouched by time, its walls adorned with ancient runes and symbols of protection. Here, amidst the flickering candlelight, lies the key to unlocking Hollow Creek's salvation. A tome, bound in leather worn with age, rests upon a stone pedestal at the chamber's center. Its pages are filled with forgotten lore and forbidden knowledge. Each word, a puzzle piece in the greater tapestry of Hollow Creek's destiny. With trembling hands, Alex begins to decipher the cryptic text, searching for the answers that might hold the town's redemption. But as they delve deeper into the tome's secrets, a sense of unease settles over them a creeping dread that whispers of unseen dangers lurking just beyond the veil of comprehension. The shadows, once mere observers, now coil and twist with a malevolent intent, their whispers growing more insistent, more persuasive. In the flickering candlelight, 
Alex glimpses a shadowy figure lurking in the chamber's depths, its form shifting and wavering like smoke on the wind. It is the shadowy entity, the architect of Hollow Creek's torment. Its presence, a harbinger of the darkness that threatens to consume all in its path. As the chamber begins to tremble, the tome's pages fluttering with an otherworldly force, Alex realizes the gravity of their situation. The shadows have been unleashed, their hunger insatiable, their wrath unstoppable, and in their relentless pursuit of power, they will stop at nothing to claim Hollow Creek and all who dare to defy them as their own. With the chamber collapsing around them, Alex is left with a choice to flee and abandon the town to its fate, or to stand and face the shadows head on, risking everything for the chance to rewrite Hollow Creek's destiny. The story hangs in the balance, its conclusion uncertain, its characters caught in a web of choices and consequences that will shape the town's fate for generations to come. As the chamber trembles and the shadows close in, Alex stands frozen, torn between the instinct to flee and the determination to confront the encroaching darkness head on. With each passing moment, the weight of their decision grows heavier consequences more dire. In a flash of clarity, Alex reaches for the crystal orb, its pulsating light offering a glimmer of hope amidst the encroaching gloom. With a surge of energy, they channel the orb's power, leaving a protective barrier around themselves, a shield against the shadow's relentless advance. But even as the barrier holds, cracks begin to form, the shadows pressing in with a ferocity that threatens to shatter the fragile defense. Desperation grips Alex's heart as they frantically search for a way to strengthen the barrier, to hold back the darkness just a little while longer. In the flickering candlelight, a glint catches their eye, a shard of the shattered artifacts, its edges jagged and sharp. With trembling hands, Alex grasps the shard, feeling its resonance with the crystal orb's energy, its potential as a conduit for channeling power. With a silent prayer, Alex presses the shard against the barrier, willing it to hold, to withstand the onslaught of shadows that seek to consume them. For a moment, the chamber falls silent thick with anticipation, as if even the shadows themselves hold their breath. But the respite is short-lived, as the shadows surge forth with renewed vigor, their hunger undiminished by the feeble resistance. The barrier falters, its edges fraying like threadbare fabric. As Alex struggles to maintain their grip on the shard, their resolve wavering in the face of overwhelming odds. In a final act of defiance, Alex channels every last ounce of strength into the barrier, willing it to hold just a little while longer, to buy them the time they need to find a way out of the chamber. Out of the clutches of the shadows that threaten to consume them, and as the chamber trembles on the brink of collapse, the story hangs suspended in the balance, its characters trapped in a deadly dance with forces beyond their comprehension. The conclusion remains uncertain, the outcome dependent on the choices yet to be made, the paths yet to be taken. For in the heart of Hollow Creek, where shadows reign and darkness holds sway, the tale of survival hangs by a thread, 
its threads woven with fear and uncertainty, its resolution a whisper in the wind, waiting for the next chapter to unfold. As the chamber trembles and the shadows press in, Alex's grip on the shard of the shattered artifacts tightens, their determination unwavering despite the overwhelming odds stacked against them. With every fiber of their being, they pour their energy into reinforcing the barrier, pushing back against the relentless tide of darkness. But as the shadows swirl and writhe with an unholy fervor, Alex senses a shift in their demeanor, a cunning intelligence lurking beneath the malevolent facade, a calculated strategy aimed at exploiting their weaknesses and breaking their resolve. In a desperate bid to turn the tide, Alex searches the depths of their mind for a glimmer of hope, a spark of inspiration that might offer a way out of the chamber's deadly trap. And then, amidst the chaos and despair, a memory surfaces a fragment of Father Thomas's journal, its words a cryptic clue to unlocking the town's secrets. With renewed purpose, Alex focuses their energy on deciphering the journal's riddles piecing together the threads of Hollow Creek's history in search of the key to defeating the shadows once and for all. Each word, each symbol, becomes a lifeline in the darkness, guiding them towards a revelation that could change the course of the town's fate. As the shadows press closer, their whispers growing louder and more insidious, Alex's efforts begin to bear fruit, a glimmer of understanding dawning amidst the chaos. A realization that the shadows draw their strength from the town's own history, its past sins and unfulfilled promises. Armed with this newfound knowledge, Alex channels their energy into a final, desperate gambit, a ritual to cleanse the town of its dark legacy, to sever the shadow's hold on Hollow Creek and banish them once and for all. With trembling hands, they trace the symbols of the ritual, their words a prayer whispered in the gathering gloom. And then, in a blinding flash of light, the shadows recoil, their grip on the chamber loosening as if repelled by an unseen force. For a moment, the air is filled with a deafening silence, broken only by the sound of Alex's ragged breaths and the distant echoes of the town's forgotten past.
even as hope flickers to life in their heart, a sense of unease lingers. A lingering doubt that the shadows have truly been vanquished. For in the heart of Hollow Creek, where darkness reigns and secrets lie buried, the line between victory and defeat is a fragile one, its outcome hanging in the balance, waiting for the next turn of the page. As the chamber falls into an eerie silence, Alex's heart races with a mixture of relief and trepidation. The shadows, though momentarily subdued, still linger at the edges of their perception, a constant reminder of the town's dark legacy. With cautious steps, Alex ventures deeper into the chamber, the remnants of the ritual casting long shadows against the walls. The air is heavy with the scent of ancient magic, its potency lingering like a spectral presence, haunting and elusive. As they reach the chamber's center, Alex's gaze falls upon a hidden alcove, its contents obscured by a thick layer of dust and decay. With trembling hands, they brush aside the debris, revealing an ancient artifact, a crystal amulet pulsating with a faint, ethereal light. Inscribed with the same symbols that adorned the chamber's walls, the amulet resonates with a power that seems to thrum with life as if beckoning to be wielded in the battle against the shadows that threaten to engulf Hollow Creek once more. With a sense of foreboding, Alex reaches out to grasp the amulet, feeling its energy surge through their veins like a current of electricity. It is a weapon, a tool, a beacon of hope in the face of overwhelming darkness, but also a burden, a reminder of the responsibility that now rests upon their shoulders. As they hold the amulet aloft, a sense of vertigo washes over them, the chamber fading into darkness as they are transported to a realm beyond comprehension, a liminal space where the boundaries between worlds blur and shift, where the echoes of Hollow Creek's past and future intertwine in an intricate dance of fate. Here, amidst the swirling mists of uncertainty, Alex glimpses a vision of Hollow Creek transformed a town, reborn from the ashes of its own destruction, its people united in purpose and resolve its legacy cleansed of the shadows that once threatened to consume it. But even as hope blooms in their heart, a voice whispers in the depths of their mind, a reminder that the path to salvation is fraught with peril, that the shadows, though vanquished, still linger on the fringes of reality, waiting for an opportunity to strike. With a heavy heart, Alex returns to the chamber, the weight of the amulet pressing against their chest like a stone. The story hangs in the balance, its conclusion uncertain, its characters poised on the precipice of destiny, waiting for the next chapter to unfold. As Alex stands in the chamber, the weight of the amulet heavy in their hand, a sense of unease settles over them. The vision of a revitalized hollow creek, though tantalizing, feels distant and elusive, its realization dependent on forces beyond their control. With a heavy sigh, Alex returns the amulet to its resting place, the crystal pulsating with a muted glow, as if acknowledging their reluctance. It is a burden they are not yet ready to bear, a responsibility they cannot fully comprehend. But even as they turn away from the chamber, a nagging doubt gnaws at the edges of their mind. 
a sense that the shadows, though momentarily subdued, still lurk in the darkness, biding their time, waiting for an opportunity to strike. As they emerge from the depths of the church, the morning sun casts long shadows across the desolate streets of Hollow Creek, illuminating the town in an eerie half-light. It is a sight both familiar and unfamiliar, a reminder of the town's past glory and its present decay. With each step, Alex feels the weight of their decision pressing upon them, the knowledge that the fate of Hollow Creek now rests in their hands, a responsibility they cannot shirk. But as they walk, a sense of determination fills their heart, a resolve to confront the shadows head on, to uncover the truth behind the town's dark legacy, and to forge a path towards redemption, no matter the cost. The story hangs in the balance, its conclusion uncertain, its characters poised on the brink of destiny. For in the heart of Hollow Creek, where shadows reign and secrets lie buried, the journey is far from over, the tale far from told. And so, Alex ventures forth into the unknown, guided by a flicker of hope amidst the encroaching darkness their footsteps echoing in the silence, a testament to the courage that burns within their soul. As Alex ventures forth into the unknown, the whispers of the shadows seem to follow, a constant reminder of the darkness that lurks just beyond the edges of perception. With each step, the weight of their burden grows heavier responsibility of unraveling Hollow Creek's mysteries, pressing upon them like a suffocating fog. Driven by a relentless determination, Alex delves deeper into the town's secrets, scouring its abandoned buildings and forgotten alleyways for clues that might shed light on the shadow's origins. But with each discovery, truth seems to slip further from their grasp, elusive and maddeningly out of reach. As night falls once more, casting the town into a shroud of darkness, Alex finds themselves drawn to the ruins of the old mine, the epicenter of Hollow Creek's descent into madness, with trepidation gnawing at their heart descend into the labyrinthine tunnels, the echoes of their footsteps reverberating off the cold, damp walls. In the depths of the mine, amidst the oppressive silence and the oppressive darkness, Alex discovers a hidden chamber, a sanctuary untouched by time, its walls adorned with ancient runes and symbols of protection. Here. Amidst the flickering candlelight lies the key to unlocking Hollow Creek's salvation. But as they reach out to grasp the artifact, a sense of dread washes over them, a premonition of the horrors that lie in wait. For in the heart of Hollow Creek, where shadows reign and secrets lie buried, the line between salvation and damnation is a thin one outcome hanging in the balance, waiting for the next twist in the tale.
reaches out to grasp the artifact, a sudden chill fills the chamber, causing the candle flames to flicker and dance with an otherworldly fervor. The air grows thick with a sense of foreboding, as if the very walls of the mine were closing in, trapping them in a web of darkness and despair. With trembling hands, Alex hesitates, their fingers hovering just inches from the artifact's surface. It pulses with a malevolent energy, its presence a tangible reminder of the ancient forces that dwell within Hollow Creek's depths. But even as their resolve wavers, a voice echoes in the recesses of their mind, a whisper of encouragement, a reminder of the stakes at hand. For in the heart of Hollow Creek, where shadows reign and secrets lie buried, the fate of the town, and perhaps even the world hangs in the balance. With a steadying breath, Alex reaches out once more, their fingers closing around the artifact's smooth surface. In an instant, the chamber erupts in a blinding flash of light as if the very fabric of reality were being torn asunder. And then, as suddenly as it began, the light fades, leaving Alex standing alone in the darkness, the artifact cradled in their hand. But something has changed. The whispers of the shadows have grown louder, more insistent, their presence a palpable weight on Alex's soul. As they turn to leave the chamber, a sense of unease gnaws at the edges of their mind, a feeling that they have awoken something ancient and malevolent, something that should have remained dormant, hidden in the depths of Hollow Creek's forgotten past. And so, as Alex emerges from the mind's depths, the artifact clutched tightly in their grasp. The story hangs suspended in the balance, its characters poised on the brink of a reckoning, its outcome uncertain, its secrets waiting to be revealed in the darkness that lies ahead. As Alex emerges from the depths of the mine, the weight of the artifact in their hand serves as a constant reminder of the darkness that lurks within Hollow Creek. The town, once a beacon of hope, now feels like a prison, its streets haunted by the echoes of its troubled past. With each passing moment, the whispers of the shadows grow louder, their voices twisting and contorting into sinister melodies every shadowy corner. It is a constant reminder of the malevolent forces that lurk just beyond the veil of reality, waiting for an opportunity to strike. Determined to uncover the truth behind the artifact and the shadows that seem to follow it, Alex delves deeper into the town's secrets, seeking out clues and allies in their quest for answers. But with each revelation, the truth only seems to slip further from their grasp, elusive and maddeningly out of reach. As night falls once more, casting the town into a shroud of darkness, Alex finds themselves drawn to the ruins of the old church, the site of their first encounter with the shadows now haunt their every step. With a sense of trepidation, they enter the crumbling sanctuary, the air heavy with the weight of centuries of forgotten prayers and whispered secrets. In the dim light of the church, Alex's gaze falls upon a hidden passage, concealed behind a crumbling altar. With a sense of foreboding, they venture into the depths of the passage walls closing in around them like the jaws of a beast. As they
I descend deeper into the darkness. The whispers of the shadows grow louder, their voices becoming more insistent, more desperate. It is a chilling reminder of the forces that lurk just beyond the threshold of reality, waiting for an opportunity to claim their next victim. And so, as Alex disappears into the depths of the passage, the story hangs suspended in the balance its characters poised on the brink of a revelation, its outcome uncertain, its secrets waiting to be uncovered in the darkness that lies ahead. As Alex ventures deeper into the hidden passage beneath the old church, the air grows thick with a sense of unease. The darkness seems to press in from all sides, suffocating and oppressive as if the very walls themselves were alive with malevolent intent. With each step, the whispers of the shadows grow louder, their voices echoing off the ancient stone walls like a chorus of the damned. It is a cacophony of terror and despair, a constant reminder of the dangers that lurk just beyond the edge of perception. But even as fear gnaws at their heart, Alex presses on, driven by a relentless determination to uncover the truth behind the artifact and the shadows that seem to follow it. With each passing moment, the passage seems to twist and turn, leading deeper into the bowels of the earth, further from the safety of the world above. As they journey deeper into the darkness, Alex's senses are overwhelmed by the oppressive atmosphere, a sense of dread that seems to seep into their very bones, chilling them to the core. It is a feeling of being watched, of being hunted by unseen forces that lurk just beyond the edge of sight. And then, just as suddenly as it began, the passage opens into a vast cavern, its walls illuminated by an eerie, otherworldly glow. In the center of the cavern lies a pedestal, upon which rests a strange and ancient artifact, a relic of a time long forgotten, its purpose shrouded in mystery. With trembling hands, Alex approaches the artifact, feeling its power resonate with their own. It is a key, they realize, a key to unlocking the secrets of Hollow Creek and the shadows that seem to haunt its every corner. But as they reach out to grasp it, a sense of dread washes over them, a premonition of the horrors that lie in wait. And so, as Alex stands on the threshold of discovery, the story hangs suspended in the balance, its characters poised on the brink of revelation, its outcome uncertain, its secrets waiting to be uncovered in the darkness that lies ahead. As Alex stands in the realm beyond time and space, surrounded by darkness, and uncertainty. They feel a chill run down their spine, a primal instinct warning them of imminent danger. But before they can react, the darkness begins to coalesce, forming twisted shapes and grotesque figures that advance toward them with unnatural speed. With nowhere to run and no means of escape, Alex braces themselves for the inevitable confrontation, their heart pounding in their chest as the shadows close in around them. Each step brings them closer to the brink of madness, their mind filled with visions of unspeakable horrors that threaten to consume them whole. In a last desperate bid for survival, Alex reaches out to the artifact hoping to channel its power to fend off the encroaching darkness. 
but as they grasp it tightly in their hand, a searing pain shoots through their body, a punishment for daring to wield such forbidden magic. As the pain intensifies, Alex's vision blurs and fades, their consciousness slipping away into the abyss. And in that moment of utter despair, they realize with a sickening certainty that they have become one with the darkness, a puppet in the hands of forces far beyond their control. And so, as Hollow Creek fades into darkness and oblivion, its secrets buried beneath layers of forgotten history, the story reaches its chilling conclusion. For in the heart of darkness, where shadows reign and nightmares come to life, there can be no escape, no redemption, only eternal torment for those who dare to defy the will of the Ancient Ones.